I think from looking at the audience, lots of uh, young people with us here today, and I often get the question uh, that I'd like you to address right now. When going into the media, uh, often there are two tracks. One is on air, one is behind the scenes or production, but you started as an intern and then you were an AP, a news writer and eventually on the air. Yeah, I started in the production end and ended up reporting and being an anchor woman and I was so happy to do it that way because uh, so many times over the last five to ten years I felt like I could put myself on television. I started as an intern and then I became a production assistant and then I became a news writer trainee and then I became a writer and then I became an associate producer, then I became a field producer, then I was a segment producer, then I was a line producer, I was a terrible line producer. Uh, then I went back to field producing and then I started working at NBC News. That was all in local news in Boston. So I really felt like I had great training and doing all that production work made me a much better reporter mm. and a much better anchor you know, years down the road. So right now, do you think there's still uh, that two track in, in television or, or less so than let's say 10 or 20 years ago? When nowadays we have more of the one man teams that are shooting and producing and reporting. I think that two track still exists uh, and I'm sorry it exists and I don't think it has to exist. I think in a way it's, it's, it's fake. You know, and again, this is, I think it's individual for everybody, but for me personally, I loved learning all the skills. I loved learning how to write. I loved learning how to produce. I, I, the, you know, as much as I am the face of the documentaries that we do, I write a lot of the documentaries and rewrite a lot of the documentaries and I'm responsible for the shoots of the documentaries even though there's a producer there. It's my face, it's my name, I, I, I'm a control freak and so all those things, you know, it's really important that you know how to do it. It's not just I hate this script, it's I hate this script and here's the version I've written, this one's better, let's go with that one. Uh, nobody wants to just have, uh, you know, helpful um, you know, blaming or helpful criticizing, you need to be able to say a better thing is this or a different option is this or I think these words better express how I'm feeling about this story. That's really critical and, and so that's what I always recommend to young people.